Peace family, it's your boy Lions Den with a with a news update. Um, Congressman, Maryland Congressman Elijah Commons. I'm gonna have a lot of things to say to this this guy right here. You know, was outraged of immigration children's been separated by their families. I have a lot of things to say about my home state, Congressman. It's funny that you have. You talk about, you know, separating from immigration families, but not one time, Congressman, one time, you know, I talk about black families being separated. So I'm going to go ahead and play this this video here, and then I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. Republicans in Congress are only willing to use their full arsenal of constitutional weapons to attack Hillary Clinton or protect Donald Trump. Neither the Oversight Committee nor the Judiciary Committee has issued a single subpoena to investigate President Donald Trump on any other topic related to his administration, including the key moral and ethical issue of the day, which is the President's new policy to separate children from their families. And so I asked the question, and it is a simple question. Are we really going to sit here, 70 members of the Congress of the United States of America in 2018 and have a hearing that just repeats the hearings the Senate had yesterday on Hillary Clinton's emails? We sent letter after letter, letter after letter, asking these committees to investigate the Trump administration's policy, which is now resulting in child internment camps. That's what I said, child internment camps. But we have gotten no response. Look, even if you believe people entered our country illegally, even if you believe they have no valid asylum claims in their own country, even if you believe immigration should be halted entirely, we all should be able to agree that in the United States of America, we will not intentionally separate children from their parents. We will not do that. We are better than that. We are so much better. We should be able to agree that we will not keep kids in child internment camps indefinitely and hidden away from public view. What country is that? This is the United States of America. We now have reports that parents are being deported, but the Trump administration is keeping their children here. 2018 in America. We do not need legislation. This is a policy, and understand this. This was a policy invented, implemented, and executed by President Donald Trump. And so, in conclusion, Mr. Chairman, we need you. Those children need you. And I'm talking directly to my Republican colleagues. We need you to stand up to President Trump. We need you to join us in telling him that we reject this mean policy. We need you to tell him to abandon this policy. We need you to remind him that this is the United States of America. And it is a great country. And we need you to stand up for those children. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Okay, you saw this video. Let me say this, Congressman, Congressman Cummings, my home state of Maryland, my home state of Maryland, Congressman Elijah Cummings, where were you, where were the y'all cry? 
when black kids are being taken away from? Where were the outcry when basically you have kids missing every single day in this country? Black kids missing. Now, I reported yesterday that example that a black father had to, had to be taken away from and give it to the mother who just got out of prison for six years. And you guys talking about immigration and children being separated from homes, separated from their families. What about the black kids? See, this is why I'm saying that nobody even spoken of about these black children has been taken away from, from their families, has been stripped from their families. Not one. And yet, you, you talk about, you know, immigration and, you know, people seeking asylum and try to say that, that they sent the parents back but keep the kids here. We've been having that same problem here in with black children. And not one congressman, not one senator even spoke up with that. Not one. And, you know, it's frustrating as citizens that even our elective officials didn't even recognize black children has been taken away from, from, from their parents or from their families. Not one. And, you know, it's, you know, it is frustrating that a sitting congressman my home state of Maryland now, sitting congressman, is saying that we need to stop Pre President Trump from, you know, for immigration with these kids, uh, separate from families. And we've been having this for years. Black people has been, um, black children has been separate their families for decades. And now when this happens, that immigration Broken families? Did the parents sit back in their home country to keep the kids here? Hmm. You know, it is messed up, however, that, you know, you know, when you had, when you, when it was Guatemalan, El Salvadorian, um, and other South American countries have to have, ex, I mean, have to have, basically have to uh, request asylum to stay in this country but the, the mistreatment, it was messed, it's, I mean, the mistreatment that they had to send back, but keep the kids, say that it was messed up. But nobody says about the black kids that's been through this. We've been, been through this for, for decades. And not one congressman or senator even spoke out with that. See, this is why I said that, you know, enough's enough, people. We we have gone through a lot of stuff that's happening. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> excuse me, all of a sudden, now y'all concerned about the kids because it come, come from the asylum. But not one time y'all, I'm not concerned about the black kids has been, you know, separated from their families. Not one. So I am really disappointed with you, Congressman Elijah Cummings. Because obviously, you never once said about the black kids has been separated from their families. And this is my home state, Maryland now. And you basically now want to speak out <clears throat> because of, you know, the immigration and, 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 and the parents been separated from their kids. and The kids been stay here and the parents sent back to their home countries. But not one you didn't talk about the black kids. So... This, I got nothing to say. I'm, you know, I'm done with this issue, however. So, at the end of the day, you know, you want to talk about immigration with the kids. I understand that. But just also talk about the black kids who's been separated from their families for decades. And not one of you care about that. Not one. Not even the Congressional Black Caucus didn't care about that. Because if they did, this would be the no one issue in their agenda, how to bring the bring the bring the black kids to their families, but no, you you 
because this one issue of immigration, one issue that you want to separate the kids, and I understand that, you know, it's, it's bad that children, including toddlers, don't even know who, who, their, who their parents are. I understand that part. But we've been, been through this decades ago with black kids, even toddlers, didn't know who their parents are. So don't just come here and say, well, uh, uh, we got to focus on the immigration and Trump needs to stop, stop sending, their, sending their parents back and keep the kids here. We've been through this here and nobody, you guys didn't say anything. Now, all of a sudden, you want to say something when it comes to immigration. When it comes to, immigra- come to immigration, and seeking asylum, separate the, send the parents back and keep the kids here. You, now you're saying something, but we've been through this decades. And for, we, black kids have separated from their pe- families for decades, and nobody said nothing. So... All I have to say is that do what y'all do, but I'm not going to, you know, look over this issue because of one issue of the immigrants, but not with the black family. So, no, I'm not, I ain't with you on that. But, um, that's, um, but that's all I have to say about this issue. Um, please subscribe my videos. Um, please share this. And tell me what you think about this because this is ridiculous. All because first you didn't want to, first you didn't want to talk about the black kids being separated, but now since the immigration policy comes in, the immigration been separated. Now y'all want to say something? Okay, whatever. Leave me a comment. Um, share this video and subscribe my videos for any news and commentary. But with that being said, this is Lions didn't sign out. Deuces.